I know that for some pet owners, some have already experienced this situation. A friend that you are expecting to come over for a visit rings your doorbell then there goes your dog running to your door even before you open it. And there you are wishing that your dog will stop going crazy over the sound of the doorbell and people coming over. Well, lucky you. There are trainings that you can conduct to make your dog go away every time you have a visitor. You just need to invest your effort and commitment in practicing your dog towards completing this training. Here is the step-by-step -step process on how you can train your dog the doorbell game. 1. Getting started. The first thing that you should do is to decide where you want your dog to go once your doorbell rings. You can send him to another room or send him to his crate if he has a history of jumping and going crazy around. If he tends to bark or pushes you away once the doorbell rings, you might need to train him to sit once your doorbell rings. Before you start your training you should ready treats that you can give your canine buddy. The first thing that you should do is to train him to calm down when he hears someone coming or visiting. First, you should train him to move away from the entryway so you would have some space to get the door without him crowding or bumping into you. For this part all he has to do and learn is that he has to move away from the door when someone is about to enter. Next is that you should invite your dog to your front door. Hold treats on your other hand together with the clicker and make your other hand free. Reach out your empty hand to the doorknob in a way that you can still observe your dog. Watch him closely but do not open the door at this moment of training. Click and treat your dog when he makes a move away from the door even though it is a little step or he made it by accident. You have to repeat this exercise for about 8 to 10 times while walking from different areas of your house towards your door. After each successful try, give him his treat. When you think that you have tried this step for many times and he figured out that he will get a treat every time he moves back, you are now ready for the next step. If he does otherwise, repeat this step for a longer time and you may need to increase your reinforcements. 2. Add cues and movement to make your buddy move away from the door. The next thing that you need to do is to teach your dog what to do after your doorbell rings. What you want to teach your dog is that after the doorbell rings, he needs to listen to a verbal cue that will direct him to something. Either he goes to another room or you teach him to sit or to lay down in a designated spot. You can be creative in using verbal cues, if you use phrases like, just a minute, you can inform your guests that you will be accommodating them in a bit. Give your canine buddy treats once he moves away from the door and give him even better treats when he is about to do the command that lies behind your cues. With this you can greet your guests in a very friendly way without your dog interrupting. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. 3. Confine your dog. If your goal is to confine your canine buddy somewhere inside your house, you might need to get him as far away as possible for you to be able to place him immediately in your desired area. During your first practices you need to actually bring him to the area where you want him to stay and you will be needing high value treats for this one. Once you are already in the area, give him the treats that he deserve and add lots of talk and a positive vibe so he wouldn't be able to think that bringing him in that area is a negative act. You can offer him a chew toy to keep him occupied while he is in his confinement area. 4. Use a sit station. If you tend to use the sit cue you should already be a step ahead. Set up a mat or a rug several steps behind your door so what your dog knows where to stay. This will serve as his visual cue so it is much easier for him. Direct your dog to the rug after you say your cue and ask him to sit. Then slowly go back to the door while observing if he remains on the mat. Practice this and increase the distance between you and your dog in small steps and take it one step at a time. Continue the training by coming from different parts of your house towards your door. 5. Open the door. Once your dog is all set in his position, you can now try opening the door and see if he remains in position. If he does, walk towards him and to give him his treat then repeat this step several times before you move on to opening the door. Once you think that he is ready, open the door just a little then close it, then give his dog his reward if he didn't move. 
Continue until you successfully open your door completely while your dog is still in his place. Practice this by adding a person to come inside and if your dog moves once your guest is inside, tell your guest to back up and go again outside. Block your dog and direct him to go back to his area. 6. Add the doorbell. Now you can add the doorbell in the process. You just have to repeat all the process above but now add the sound of the doorbell. Now you will be able to demonstrate the whole process to him but do not forget to give him his treats. Continue doing this until he gets used to it. Continue this training until your canine buddy gets used to it. Soon he will be ready to receive and be around guests without getting to jumpy in no time. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time!